Electric vehicles doesn't just mean cars. This is the Exure, a cutting edge 100% pure electric boat. And what's even better is recently it's been used on environmental projects here in Sweden. Welcome to Fully Charles. The reason that EV technology excites me isn't just because the tech's cool, but it's the, because of the positive impact it can have on the environment. So when you get EV companies supporting conservation and environmental projects, I think that's just, that's just like the perfect combination. And that's what's happening uh, in Sweden today, in Stockholm. You've got four companies, all EV manufacturers, uh, cake bikes, awake wake boards, extra boats, and Polestar cars are coming together to create AIM Zero, a project that supports conservation projects with zero carbon emissions. I'm especially excited today because as a diver, there's a group of Swedish divers who've been out using extra boats to clean up the waterways and the, and the coastline and seas around Sweden. And today I get to give them a hand. We started the uh, AIM Zero on a, a lunch break. I saw an article about uh, the Exure boats and, and Conrad's vision about uh, electrical boats. So I actually just wrote him an email asking him if uh, I can borrow one of the boats for diving. And I, actually, I got a reply that sure, of course, you can get two. Nice. Um, and then was the, that was the start of the project. So, so what does AIM Zero aim to do? AIM Zero aims to reduce the carbon footprint in our own projects. We want to, to inspire people to, to think of their own carbon footprint in, in their projects. There's a lot of people uh, cleaning the oceans today and uh, they're uh, picking up ghost nets. Uh, and we think it's, it's the next step now to take and uh, change the vehicles they use for electrical ones to reduce their own footprints. And in our projects, we, we aim for a zero footprint and uh, that's what we're doing today. Mainly we, we, we clean the oceans. Uh, we pick up trash from the bottom and we also uh, pick up old ghost nets, it's nets from fishing, fishing boats that they lost in, in wrecks or big rocks or, or something like that and they lost it in the sea. And these nets keep on fishing so the, the fish gets trapped, you got seals and other animals chasing them and get trapped as well. So we remove these nets and bring them to the surface and recycle them. So what's the extra like to dive off? It's a great dive boat, it's uh, fantastic. You have a uh, open space, you have uh, open, fully open in the back so you just can jump out. It's easy to come, come up in with the diving ladder in it. And it's silent, extremely silent. No fumes in the back. It's a fantastic boat to dive from. That's great, so what's the plan for today? For today, we're actually going to use uh, four different vehicles to transport divers or, or actually use in, in uh, the project to clean uh, this restaurant and the area around it. We're going to take uh, a Polestar 2 car, we're going to take a cake Ursa bike and we're going to take the, the Exure boat to transport the divers. We're going to dive from the boats and from the, the harbour here and we're going to clean the, the bottom underneath the restaurant and around it and we, we hope to find a lot of, lot of garbage to, to bring up to the surface and get away for, for recycling.
So, Conrad, what was the, the inspiration behind starting Exure? Well, I always loved the sea and uh, with my uh, previous business, I managed to make an exit and after that I could make this dream happen, be in a segment where you can really change something to the better because the water's density has 784 times the air. So driving anything in water takes a lot of energy. So the savings is actually bigger in boats than cars and other vehicles. As far as the Exure goes, I mean, there's no emissions. It's all very environmentally friendly. It's, it's silent as well, which I noticed, which is great. But from a technical point of view, you know, what can it do? How fast can it go? How, how big is its range? How long does it take to recharge? I do think that we need to help Mother Earth uh, on its way to go back on track. But I don't believe that we should go back and live in a cave. And uh, with this project, I wanted a modern bo boat that Exure delivers like 40 knots in top speed, 25 knots as far di distance as possible. Uh, and this boat can go at least 30 nautical miles in 25 knots and up to 50 when we tried it. But it depends on the uh, salt uh, in, in the water. Uh, it depends on uh, currents, uh, wind and waves. Of course, I mean, it's affected in the same way as a sort of combustion engine boat uh, would be, you know, that your fuel economy is worse if you're into wind and into waves and into current. So as far as how it's like to, to, to skipper, to drive, is there any uh, differences to how you would pilot an electric boat compared to an old fashioned boat? What we're riding right now is a prototype. So the boat that we're launching in a month, uh, the Elex 8000 2021 edition, that one is very much different to this. Um, we're super excited over the, the new version because it's, it's easy to drive. You can uh, put it on autopilot, uh, etc. So all this stuff is coming. What you see in the cars is also coming into the boat, but there is always like a little bit behind because the car industry is, is bigger and, and, and getting uh, uh, the most focus from the beginning. But of course, we are kind of piggybacking on the automotive industry. So the better that gets, the better we are going to get our boats as well. And then certain things we, of course, have to uh, develop and in innovate ourselves because it's, there is difference between a car and, uh, and a boat. Just run me through some of the features that are different on this board. Yeah, so we have different features on the steering wheel. For example, you can turn off and on the lanterns so people can see you in the dark. So you have lanterns in the back and also in the front. And then we have a feature with jet streams, both in the front and in the back. So by using this, these buttons, it makes the boat able to spin around 360 degrees without uh, uh, moving. And also you have a nice feature with a big sleek screen. So you can see different features about the motor and the battery. And you can also see the feature of which speed you're going. One of my favorite features in the boat is the man over boat feature. So if you press this button, it will make a dot on the map so you can see where the person is in the water. So you can go back and pick up the person safely. This, I mean, having a big touch screen like you've got here is what you can expect from modern electric cars like yeah. Tesla's and Polestar's and that sort of stuff. So it's nice to see that, you know, this very high, quite a high tech feature is yeah. finding its way into boats as well. I think it's very unique and I think it's nice because it makes it so much more easier to see on the map where you're going. And uh, I think all the feature makes the boat easier to use. Uh, when you have different screen, it makes it more blurry, which one you're gonna look at and where you see the different features. And this one just puts everything together and it just makes sense. And can you watch YouTube on it? No, we can't. You can't. But we talked about it. You could get it on there. Yeah. They can watch fully charged. But you will have a. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what else, else I like is the, um, the the power controls and that big lever. It's quite yeah. a subtle thing. Iron made of cork, which I like. It's very nice. It melts into the rest of the boat and it's a very sleek design, so it looks nice and uh, yeah, it's a nice touch. Away from the, sort of the technology, the aesthetics of it, because it's a beautiful looking, there's clearly a lot of thought gone into the look of it, the lines, the materials. 
you know, sometimes it's good to have three t decades to think. <laughs> Uh, because you, you do it over and over uh, again and, and uh, the design has really been refined and then refined again and, and we come from like three aspects of the design of course the functionality is that you know we have symmetrical stairs so you don't fall into the boat you can actually walk really easy we have a big flat open space for easy entry we have a low space in the back uh, so you can even put on uh, your bike or you know other he heavy stuff or, or if you're in a wheelchair this is the perfect boat the looks the aesthetics is really important because good looks is also sustainable because you want to have it for longer and and people want to buy it as a second hand so it took us quite some time to find this distinct design that we have and uh, to tell you the truth, it's basically a fishing boat in the front and a modern sailing boat in the, in, in the back. But other boat companies haven't really been able to build small boats like this because the engine takes up so much space. But the advantage of an electric engine that is just, you know, like 40 centimeters and weighing 80 kilos is that we can make it really flat in the back. Okay, so we've been going about five knots up to this point. But this boat can do a whole lot more. Fully charged. Let's go fully charged. OK, let's ease this up. Everybody ha hang Hold on to your camera. Hang on to your cameras. Come on, push it. Woohoo! <laughs> We have uh, two times 60 kilowatt of uh, batteries, so it's very powerful. Uh, what's unique is that we actually take out around 450 amperes to go up to planing. Okay. And uh, that is what really differs us from the others, that we need a lot of power for a short moment of time to get up. And uh, uh, the engine is 220 kilowatt, uh, so around 300 horsepower and you can feel it, it's really yeah. powerful. <laughs> so how easy is, is it to charge it? Because a car you just drive up the charging station, is it, is it more difficult with a boat? No, because uh, the grid has really been well out in harbours, because they, the big ships needs a lot of electricity. So actually we've been surprised that it's electricity everywhere, yeah. in, 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 in a much better way than for an electric car. I think there is going to be political reasons to change to electrical boats. I think uh, the experience is so much better. Uh, so we have a full line of boats coming out and, and the technology is just getting better and better and more effective. So it's, it's going to be electric boats. That's the future for sure. The world of electric vehicles is just is it ever expanding. It's not just cars, it's not just bikes, it's not just boats. And it looks like the future, all vehicles, all forms of transport, be it land, air or sea, will be electric. And all these vehicles are aiming for a zero impact on the environment. But what's especially good for me is when vehicles like this one are being used to have a positive impact on the environment. And I hope more and more projects like these take off in the future. I'll finish off by saying obviously thank you to all our Patreon supporters and our YouTube members without whose support episodes like this would not be possible. You can obviously like and subscribe to the channel, that's a big help too, or if you fancy take a look at the Patreon and YouTube member links below and see if that's something you might be interested in. And apart from that, as always, if you have been, thanks for watching. <laughs>